Welcome to another nighttime flight over the Himalayas in our 737-600. We're hoping that dawn breaks so we can see our landing strip. As once again we have no approach plates, no SIDs, no stars. But we do have a few waypoints this time, instead of me manually flying it from A to B. A really exciting pan, as you see, absolutely nothing but mountains. And we're going to be taking off on seven, which means we are turning right here on the PFD ahead. You can see we can't select El Nav yet because we have a right turn straight ahead. So I'll be flying us up out of danger. We actually take up at 10,000 feet, so that would explain anyone was wondering why we had a very slow takeoff roll. That's the absolute limit of the aircraft's capabilities here. Start the right turn. The aircraft is going to speed up before it climbs. It doesn't know we have mountains there as there's no Vino profile, but I do, and we've got plenty of time. Dial this down to 10 miles so you can see what it's safe. And I climb at 3500 feet maximum climb rate. This red should be disappearing. Good. Time to right click these. Oh, we can descend to the, uh, the last waypoint and hold. That'd be clever, wouldn't it? Okay, let's do that. Let's fly direct. Cole. Which is still a 10 mile, 12 miles on the wrong way. And hold there, alright? Okay, cool. There we go. Why? I want to hold. That cool. Now this should put our descent coming up pretty quick and there it is. And we have cheated. As you can see here the uh, light pattern is somewhat bastardised. Bastardised depending on which side the Atlantic you're from. Now we do have to watch the mountains now because we're descending earlier. There we go, ominously descending into the <laughs> that train display, it's looking good though. Just as well, because that looks, looks like uh, well, ominous, that's the word I'm looking for. my finger on the button of the autopilot and auto throttle fucking close that is I'm sorry no danger <laughs> whoa beautiful look at this 
think we'll be arresting our descent now after done this pretty little pan. Prepare for that. Gives us a bit of stick time. Showed some respect to the mountain. Pilot back on. That's going to take us back on route. There we go. Very interesting dive. Whoa! Passengers crapping themselves. And well, as pilot, I think. confidence of this pilot taking an outside view as our plane dies to capture its profile breathtaking stuff We're leveling off at 15,000 I think as we said earlier on. That was a good guess, wasn't it? Terrain, terrain, pull up. the pilot back on now we're coming up to a hold there soon finally clear of the mountains and back to some fog brilliant when ready descend and maintain 5600 altimeter 2956 so that's below them to landing elevation okay proceed as far well we're going to just land when we see the runway we don't see down any wind. Most of the passengers have already passed out from fear. So 17 miles to 16, then we do an about turn. The FMC just ignored our, uh, our waypoint, as we're so close it just bypassed it. That's okay. Flying over the airport right below us. You know, turn around over here somewhere. So I need to fly over to the right and come in down there. Okay. Now we've got the whole valley to uh, approach. The further we go, the higher it gets. Caution, terrain. 
be flying this 20 mani for now on. Our approach speed is going to be 125 knots. Okay, so flip over here. Into the valley. Now we put the gear down. 15. That's why I like it. Claps 25. Okay. There's no terrain where we're going. Okay, there's our runway. Okay. B brakes on. Doesn't give me much of a running. That's why I wanted to land in the other direction. Looks like I'm flying around. There's some rudder in. Well, the idea was there. I didn't get low enough, did I? Okay. We have to turn around up here. Right, I'm going to do a turn up here. Or go on again. Alright, we'll find zero. But there's no altitude. It's completely confused, ADC. Then we're going to turn around soon. Mid tight turn. I'm going to keep the speed right. Keep the angle. Altitude. Flaps down. Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> that message. Somebody pull the circuit breaker. They're coming in. The speed's good. Pull up. to come in pretty far because we got a short one way. Not the smoothest of landings, but we had to get it down. I'm out of a short one way. Well, this is a turning point. We should have somewhere to park. It doesn't know we've landed, does it? It's kind of stupid. Right 
I should cancel the flight, but just let it keep yapping on. I need to shut you up. Cancel flight. Yes. Well, thank you for flying with Slop Air. We do realise you have a choice. Except when you're on the plane. You don't have a choice then. There are no parachutes or emergency exits are all disabled until the captain has left the plane. There's a man here that if you give $100 to, he will let you have your baggage. Yes. It is, it is bribery. We're not going to call it anything else. 